Here's a new dance craze that's sweeping the nation. It's called the golf cart uh, waltz. Uh, get those damn thrashy heavy metal horns up in the air. I thought this was fantastic when I saw it. It's Exodus. They're about to do the toxic waltz. And uh, this is the first ever golf carts in the mosh pit. And I'm not talking about one. I'm not talking about two. I'm talking about a lot. And what, have I, what I have done for you is I have several different, different angles of this show. So we're going to take a look at all of them. This is uh, some kind of full terror assault. And Exodus is about ready to bust the song out. Mm. So you can see here I've got this version. We're right close. Then I think this one's on top of it. This is somebody that's really close. So we got three versions. And of course I got the lyrics because I also think uh, the Toxic Waltz. What is the Toxic Waltz about to the, to the average folk that don't know anything about Exodus? This was a heavy metal mosh anthem. Uh, what, what else is there? Uh, jump in the fire, maybe. Um, into the pit. Uh, you know, but it's a song about getting in the pit and moshing it up. And now a lot of people will say, well, it's, it's like the worst song on the album and everything else. But I loved it then. I love it now. So I've got the lyrics here so you can hear just how fantastic this, these lyrics to this song are. Um, but let's get into this and see what they got to say. Steve Souza is Etro up there on stage. He's gonna, he's telling him, go. Let's let's do this. They're they're a bit shook up. They're like, what what's going on here? Yep. We got five of them there they're rolling in. Oh, nice Jedi swords over there having a little 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 uh, uh, Jedi play over there. Golf cart pit. No, what is it? Everybody here and the golf carts do the, the toxic. Whoa! There we go. Got some bird cages over here. Look at him going for it, moshing in and on. That's that's the way you do it when you get to be my age. This guy's got a beer box on his head. Uh, that that's probably me at 20, 22 years old. But uh, that's the way I would want to do it if I could sit in the in the golf cart and be in the mosh pit. That would be perfect for me at my age. Someone's gonna get it. Someone's gonna get it for sure. Yes, I do dance. Look at this dude. Is that Phil Anselmo? This is a lot of stuff. These guys are just je jedi in down here. They're like, yeah, whatever, man. We don't really care about that. We're waiting for the new Star Wars movie. Like I said, God's circus clown. You get caught up in a whip. It's a pretty good crowd there at the old terror assault, full terror assault concert. This bro's on top of the world. Not only on top of the golf cart, but on top of the world. This is the best night of his life. He will tell several uh, children of his in the future about this, this moment right here. Okay, we got to get down into some stuff down here because I want to see someone actually eat it. Better audio, too, on the song. It's starting over just for those who... Look at this. This dude's happy. He's like, yeah, bro. This is the greatest night ever. She's got her phone rolling. She's going to film it. I wonder where her video is. That's fantastic. That Don't... 
this guy needs to not jump on the damn thing. It's only got so much pressure in the tires. You know, it, it carries around some big, heavy, you know, fat guys that like to golf, you know, go out there. And so it's got a pretty good poundage on it. It probably could take five or six hundred pounds, you know, but he doesn't need to be bouncing on the tires like this. This guy dressed like a dragon, dinosaur. Push it up. The pit is it. You may take a chance on this rough new dance of you. All right, I want to take a look at this one because I wanted to see if it's... Oh, there's bro, there's bro guy that we uh, that we were just talking about. It's the greatest day of his life. Yeah, this is right. Did they break into the to the place to? What's this bro doing? Did they break in to get the golf carts? Is that what happened? As they decided to? Is that a banana peel? Boy, that'd be great if that landed right on his right on his melon there. He's filming some stuff. Maybe he's like an Exodus guy. Pulse it up. Don't get a look at that. Jesus. Don't let the cam... The camera's going to break. What in the hell is going on? That guy wanted to dive into her cheeks. This guy's happy. He's got a sweet Lich King pit patch on his back. He's a thrasher. He's got him on. What else he got on there? Sodom? I saw Sodom on there. There's the, uh, remember the guy, I, I wondered if he was wearing a dragon outfit? Okay, we're going to get into these lyrics because I know someone's biting at the, this guy, I like, he's just chilling, driving, you know, getting a ride, drinking a beer. That's me. That would be me. I would be right there just hanging out, chilling on the golf cart, totally into it. These lyrics here. Here's a new dance craze that's sweeping the nation. It's called the Toxic Waltz and it's causing devastation. You're jumping up and down like a psycho circus clown. You're slamming your waltzers all the way around. You get caught up in a whip. You're thrown into a flip. Uh, you aim for someone's head and stain the floor red. Give someone a kick to prove you're truly sick. Bounce back and for some blows and blood runs out your nose. We've already been through this. Fun and round and round and injury bound. Waltz it up. The pit is it. You can take a chance on this rough new dance if you dare to dive in. There are some that try, but they won't survive. They don't hit. You want to know why? Because they're wimps. And his ex and this exercise helps you brutalize with us, Exodus. So Steve Souza, and I don't know if you know this or not, but he's lost a lot of weight. Look at him. He's a thinner, he, he's a thinner gent than he used to be. Um, the, the entire reason that he wrote Toxic Waltz was for exercise. He wants to, you, you to not only mosh, but he wants to see uh, see you break a sweat, really, you know. These guys are getting good exercise. See, these guys are my style, man. I could get in there with these guys. They're circle pitting. They're not doing... That's the thing about these old thrashers and stuff. You just want to do a circle pit. You don't want to go in, get in there like the hardcore kids do and just punch each other's face in. Now, I get it. It's a form of dance. I understand. Uh, it is good, friendly, violent fun, as they state right here in the song. Good, friendly, violent fun right there. Just throw your... Uh, uh, used to do the monkey, but now it's not cool. The twist and mashed potato are, are no exception to the rule. So don't be a dunce and dance like a runt. Just throw your elbows with some good, friendly, violent fun. You know what I'm saying? So... Oh, there's a guy with the beer can on his head. If you hit the floor, you can always crawl. kind of jelly of all these jackets. Look at all these freaking jackets. All these really nice jackets. It's someone that really cares about their music, cares about their jacket. I used to have a Levi jacket. There's that guy with the beard thing on his head. He's probably a barrel of, oh shit, and he's got a whiskey bottle in his hand. So he's, he's finished off a 12 pack of, you know, whatever, uh, Paps Blue Ribbon or something. He's holding on to a fifth of whiskey, too. This guy is going to be fun. By the end of the night, someone will be in the hospital or jail, methinks. 
And this is probably not the first time that he's done this on the back of a golf cart. See, just swinging around in circles. This is perfect. See, look, it's like cattle. It's, it's just, it's like cattle. You're just, you're cruising around in a big circle. You're not, you're not pushing too hard. It's kind of a tender boy's mosh pit. And I'm a tender boy. So I, you know, I, I, I appreciate that. I've, I've mentioned the story once before about when I went into the, I went to see Soulfly at a club and it was packed. It might have been sold out. Uh, but it was at 21 plus so you could have some beers. And after a pitcher or so, I, I got the gumption up and I was like, I'm going to go in the pit. And um, everyone that I was with said, I would highly recommend that you don't do that. I only went into the pit for about, I'm telling you, it was less than a minute. It may have been less than 30 seconds. And it was so violent that my leg hyperextended. And then my they some people came and dragged me out by the armpits. And then uh, about six weeks, I had a hell of a hard time walking on that leg and it was miserable. And I was only in that mosh pit for less than a minute. So this is my speed. This is what I'm trying to say. This is my speed. Morbidly obese, half drunk, old people just going for it. There's not a one of them in here that doesn't enjoy hamburgers and beer. Yeah, this is great. I would give anything to see this guy's gone, bro. I'm filming you for your Instagram. Oh, I'm doing the horns then, bro. And I am also filming you from over top head with my Instagram. I wonder if one of these people are the ones that we're watching their video right now. It, we can't be, can't be one of these people because it would be the person behind this. Look at this goblin ghoul looking son of a bitch. Jesus, this guy's undead. Look at his hand there, the way he's holding his wrist and everything. This guy is dead. Is he dead? Oh, he's going to tear his shirt off. I want to see your tits. Yeah, there's our bro. He's got Sodom on there. He's got, oh, it looks like Death Angel. Lich King. Younger Gent there. Oh, there's that banana peel thing. It must be some kind of little glider plane or something. Here's coming up to the breakdown, and they might have broke down. Oh, is he getting on? Yeah, he's getting on it, isn't he? There we go. That's a great shot. So there on your ass. There's the Jedi's. They're still going at it. They're still fighting each other. You know we guarantee. Surrender get the third degree. Ah, oh, I love Steve Souza. Exodus. There's a goddamn band that should be in the top. Who's a, who was saying that? Some of them need to be in the top five. These guys need to be in the big four and kick someone out. That's what I think. That'd be a hard one to, to decide who to kick out, too, because they're all good. But I think the reason why Anthrax is in there is East Coast, right? You got to have, what, there's three West Coasters and one East Coaster in there. They're like, guys, we can't have four West Coast bands in the big four. We can't do that. It's just rude. Well, for my money, and I love Anthrax, but I put Overkill in there, the New Jersey boys. Put them in the top four. They were around... 80s, 81. They might not have had an album out at that time, but anyways. Dude, the toxic walls. Dude, the toxic walls. Boom, 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 dude. 
Yeah, you got to end your set on that. Exodus is smart. They end your end their song on that. Let's get over here to the to the end of the jam. Uh, it's such a somersault to do the toxic waltz. Oh God, I'm good. Do. Thank you guys. We're Jedi, Steve. Steven, we're Jedi's. Well, this guy isn't. He's got a red sword. So what does that make him? He's not a Jedi. He's a what? A Sith? Sith Lord? Uh, so this last part here I wanted to read in the lyrics. Not the do the toxic walls part, but uh, get the breakdown. Get up on your feet. Don't look so obsolete and thrash like an athlete. There you go. Beautiful. That's like uh, poetry, like something that uh, 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 Benjamin Franklin would have wrote. Don't sit there on your ass. Don't look like you got too much class to be harassed. You know, we guarantee this is the key. So rage. Okay, I always thought it was surrender. Surrender, you'll get the third degree. But it's so rage or get the third degree. I think set surrender would have worked just as well. Surrender, get the third degree. If you surrender... Uh, you begin frontal assault, and what's this concert called? The terror assault. And start your somersault and do the toxic waltz. And I always thought, you begin uh, frontal assault, it's such a somersault to do the toxic waltz. But, and start your somersault. So what say you will end it right there? That bro's going, yeah, man, this is the greatest night of my life. I've had the time of my life. Uh, get in the comments and tell me what you think of that. Do you think Exodus should be in the top five? They should change it from big four to, to, to the top five. And uh, what's your? do you like the Fabulous Disaster album? I love that record. I mean, my, 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 ju my jumping off point was uh, uh, Pleasures of the Flesh. Then I went back and I got Bonded by Blood because I had a t-shirt. Of bonded by blood, which I love deeply, uh, and I don't know where that went. But um, and then uh, that that's when uh, they released Fabulous Disaster, and I was at the concert for that tour. It was Anthrax, Halloween, and Exodus. Get in them comments and tell me what you think. I love you so damn much, and I'm wishing you all well out there. The first ever golf cart mosh pit, Exodus did it. Founders, uh, 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 godfathers of thrash metal, swinging in. Mm. Get up on your feet. Don't look so obsolete and dash like an athlete. Oh yeah, baby.